Hello and welcome to Algebra 1 today um, and you have survived the first unit test so um, nice job on that um, and now you get to kind of start fresh with a new unit. We are going to look at chapter 3 in your book and we're going to be using a different resource uh, for the first few days and we'll use this on and off throughout the semester as it's um, really good uh, for the topics that it has. It doesn't quite cover everything that we, we would like to cover um, but for the stuff that it covers it does a really good job. Uh, so I'm going to show you the resource, give you some tips on it, and then if you have any questions, just make sure to ask and, and reach out. So you'll follow the link in Schoology and then um, log in with your Park Hill stuff, or it might even just log you in automatically from Schoology. I'm not sure. And then uh, one thing don't you don't want to get in the habit of doing is clicking Next Activity. Uh, because we won't be doing like everything in this course, uh, but we will be doing some stuff. So sometimes the next activity is is good to click, uh, but it doesn't quite give you um, exactly what you need. For instance, if I'm going to go ahead and do this. If I click next activity, then it takes me to the next thing on the list within Ingenuity, um, but it might not be what I want. Um, let's see. Figure out. Um, to get back, if you click this little home button here, it'll take you back to your course. Um, and, you, and you might see other courses there, but this is the one you're looking for, uh, Park Hill Distance Learning Algebra 1A-11. And click on the actual name of the course. It doesn't look like anything you can click on, so you know maybe not a good interface design there, but we won't worry too much about that. But if you click on the actual name of the course, then you see what's called this course map. And you can see all the different uh, things that um, you could do in here. Um, so today, uh, we're going to be working within the linear equations and inequalities. And we're going to solve linear equations with the variable on one side. So you have this entire module you can um, work through. Now, you can skip around in here just to notice that. So like um, when we get to like the next one, if you need to click on the name of what you're looking on, working on for that day, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, but we're looking for solving linear equations, variable on one side. And then once you start, so get ready, we're going to do the warm up. Once you start, then you can just listen, continue to click next, click right. It'll walk you Last through Sunday, the lesson. The like the kids, now, one thing I would recommend is make sure that you are taking notes on these. Uh, there is a pause. You can pause the lesson. The lesson. Oh, something's going on with this. There you go. Um, you can pause as needed. Um, so if you if you want to pause, pause. Um, but don't just like click through and skip ahead like like I'm trying to do here. And it won't let you do that for everything. Solve linear equations. Secondary goals. But make so make sure you're taking good notes as you go. Um, let's see. I'm going to go back to. I'm going to go back in and take a look at the quiz if we can. So once you go through everything on the quiz, and this will be where you get your grade for the day. It won't be a quiz grade. But um, make sure that you are reading the question, trying the best you can on it. And then once you take the quiz, make sure you should be able to check your work. So make sure you look at the answers that you missed. And let me see. Okay, we won't leave. I was thinking there was one other thing to kind of show you, but I don't think I can find it. Read the scenario. And okay, so here's where the equation to determine the um, number of credit hours for which the two cost functions are equivalent. So it'll ask you like to read these questions. So as you go through the instruction and also the assignment. Now make sure that you do this, right? Make sure you go through and, and try to solve it. Um, but I'm just gonna show you this because I think it's important to to check. Use the properties of equality to isolate the variable h. So if you just go through it and you're just guessing, it will spit back an a, a answer for you. 
and say, like, well, I'm just going to enter in random numbers like Mr. Praiseware just did and move on. Uh, but if you do that, you're not really going to learn what you need to learn. And then later when you do a quiz in Schoology or you do other homework, um, you're not going to know anything. Uh, so make sure that you, like, for this problem, you really try to solve for H. So you subtract 250 divided by 20 um, as you're working through um these assignments don't just you can kind of just click through and not think at all um, but that doesn't help you um, but this is set up in a way where if you do take the time and try to figure it out and do the work it will help you a lot more it's much more interactive than just watching a video so it is very interactive uh, which is a very good thing about this um, website um, so i think i'll stop there Hopefully that helped you and didn't confuse you. If it did confuse you, then uh, just let me know. Shoot me an email. Uh, stop by in Zoom, and we'll get you going on it. But I think once you get in, if you can figure out how to get in, it's pretty um, straightforward. They do a good job of walking you through. Just make sure you're taking notes, writing the math down, working the math out. Don't just look at it and think, oh, that looks right. I'm going to type it in. Actually wor work out the math, and you will get a lot out of this um, ingenuity assignment. Okay, good luck. Reach out if you have any questions.